Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric. I'm back on the Review Cube 100. Alright, I know that I already posted a review of this movie. It's called Jason Goes to Hell. But that review was already posted on, on my channel. And, and when I posted the review that was already posted on my channel, I just got lazy. And I, I just wanted to post some reviews, so... So, there you go. So this time, I think that I should actually do a review just for the just for the review crew 100 well I've only seen this movie once I thought it was a piece of shit back then and I still think that, it, that it's a piece of shit now the only reason why I even bought that movie was because I have the Friday the 13th box set well it, it, well it has all, all the movies that's owned by Paramount and Paramount sold the rights to Friday the 13th after after Friday the 13th part A Jason Jason takes um I think it's Jason yeah it's Jason takes Manhattan because supposedly they were embarrassed by the success of Friday the, the 13th I honestly I really don't know why so they sold the rights to New Line which also owns the right to the Nightmare on Elm Street series and uh hold up Another trivia. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, shit, where did I put it? Uh... Fuck it. Oh, originally there was going to be a Freddy vs. Jason back in like the 80s. Originally, Friday the 13th Part 7 was going to be Freddy vs. Jason, but instead they changed it to Tina, and the whole reason why Friday the 13th Part 7 wasn't Freddy vs. Jason is because, well, back then, both of these series were owned by different companies, and they just couldn't agree on anything, so, so instead they went with Tina. And then we finally got Freddy vs. Jason in 2003, years and years later. So then, New Line takes over Friday the 13th. And and for their first and for the first one by New Line is a piece of shit. And same with Jason X, that one's a piece of shit too. Um, no, the only reason why I bought Jason Goes to Hell was because well, the box set has one to eight, and I've seen Jason X. I thought it was a piece of shit, and I I had never seen Jason Goes to Hell. And I wanted to own all the Friday the 13th movies. I bought this box set at the pawn shop that had Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, and Freddy vs. Jason. I just felt like I was missing out and I just felt like that I just had to see it. And I, I saw it with my friend Sebastian. We both thought it was a piece of garbage. Okay, let me go on with my, with my whole list of complaints. So in Friday the 13th Part 8, we see that Jason has been like, has been destroyed he burnt an acid but then during the beginning of Jason goes to hell Jason is just somehow back to normal okay what the hell okay how is he back t to life how the hell is he back to life really how is he back like I don't have any explanation that makes no sense and also Jason's costume looks so unbelievably fake. I mean, I like the idea that he's been wearing his mask for so long that 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 is like built into his skin, but we've seen Jason take off his mask many times, so I do not buy that. I don't buy that it uh, bleh, that he's been wearing it just for so long that that's built into his skin. I don't buy that because we've seen in part 7 and part 8 and a bunch of other Friday the 13th that he's taken off his mask. Like, really? Do the people making this movie seriously think that us fans are stupid? Do they really think, oh yeah, those Friday the 13th fans are total idiots. They're total dumbasses. They won't notice. Um, we have a brain, and we use it. Oh, God. And uh, another complaint is that Jason is now like a slug or a demon. What the hell? Okay, how... How is that possible? The plot to this movie is absolutely terrible. And that one black guy who just randomly out of the bloom just ate, just decided to eat Jason's heart. Okay, why the hell did he choose to, to eat Jason's heart? It made no sense. It made no sense. It was so unnecessary. It was so stupid. I mean, 
If you saw someone's heart, would you just grab out and just eat it? No. I don't think that a heart, a human heart, sounds very... It doesn't sound very tasty. I would much rather eat like Taco Bell or Buffalo Wild Wings or Burger King or something. But a human heart? And also, Jason was barely even in the movie. It was just him taking over bodies and it didn't even feel like a Friday the 13th movie. And the ending. The ending was absolute shit. I know that Friday the 13th films were never meant to be, you know, great films. They aren't supposed to be masterpieces like, um, like the King's Speech. Friday the 13th movies are not supposed to be like the King's Speech. It's not supposed to have, you know, a great story and all that shit. I was able to f forgive that for the past Friday the 13th films, but this, this is just, Words cannot describe how shitty this movie is. Okay, the ending. The ending is completely stupid. So this... So the sword, which only a Voorhees can kill Jason, which I think is pretty stupid, then she's... Uh, whoever is related to Jason, like, Jason goes into some girl's vagina, and then he's back to normal, like, with the same dis... Um, like, he's... Still looks the, the exact same how he did during the beginning of the movie, okay? How is that possible? Really, how is that possible? Why does Jason still have the same clothing, the same hockey mask, the same everything? Wouldn't he look, you know, still Jason, but, you, but with no torn clothing and all that shit? That made no sense. And then, okay, so all these hands are dragging Jason down underground to hell. Okay, first of all, hell is not underground. Hell is in a different dimension. That's like saying that... That's like saying that you can just take a plane and just go to heaven. It just doesn't work like that. Heaven and hell are both in different dimensions. I mean, you see hell underground in like Looney Tunes cartoons. And this is not a Looney Tunes cartoon, but it, it sure seems like one. God, no wonder why there wasn't a Friday the 13th film for 10 years after this piece of shit. Anyways, I think I've ranted on for long enough about this god-awful movie, but... This movie may have been bad, but I've seen worse.